photograph in which we were in love caught in your eyes waiting for the sunrise I believe on you who you were what did you do I didn't care cause you were perfect I swear but somebody told me that it's over I know it's true you made me happy for a while I remember fleeting times when we slept on top of cars now I don't Good morning, good morning. Look, look what we have. We have the bluebells in there, full bloom. I came here last week just for recce and I was surprised then on just how the bluebells were just starting to show their heads then. And I thought it'd be a couple of weeks but at least before they were gonna come in full bloom. But here they are, we've got it. Uh, and guess what? The air is fresh, the birds are singing and it's just gone six o'clock in the morning. That's not bad, is it? So I think what we're going to do, or what I want to do today is just retake a couple of shots that I took last week purely because of the bluebells in full bloom now. And one of the first shots I'm going to take is this pathway again. We've got this pathway here. We've got this little log here. And then it just leads us out into the open. Now I'm probably going to do about 5.6 aperture, reason being... I want this surrounding area here to be sharp. I want this log to be sharp, um, but I want the background just softened out slightly and maybe the foreground softened as well. I'm not too concerned about the foreground or the background. I just want that log and the bits around it sharp. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go and do it. Okay, once again, I've brought the tripod down a little bit just so I can get more level with the uh, the shot that I want to do. I've actually framed the shot so that I've cut out all the sky, all the daylight coming through from the back. And I've got this path leading into the frame. The log is just there. And it's just going to soften out, hopefully, in the background with 5.6 aperture. So I'm focusing on the log alone because that's what I want sharp, I want the bits around it sharp and we want that softened in the background. And that should look lovely. And what's also, uh, what's also nice about this is the, the woodland's on a bit of a, a hill here. So the background, you've actually got a slope, which is always nice in photography to have a bit of a slope. Um, it just makes the background a bit more interesting. So that's taken, let's have a look at this. There's a very, very slight breeze, but not much. But it's not gonna concern us. Yeah, that, that log is really sharp. And then as we go through the path behind it, that's softening off beautifully. So we can keep the focus, the focus on that log. Yes, that's it. That's not bad, is it? It's the first one in the bag. I think it's time to move on to the next one now. We go that way. Right, just 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 quickly, just just quickly. <laughs> I've got my three trees because I do like having three trees. We've got this tree here. That tree there, which I think it's a lovely tree, it's so different. And it sounds sad, doesn't it? And then that tree in the background there. So we've got a little bit of depth going into the image with the trees being where they are. We have the bluebells around them. We have a bit of a slope going down here. So I think it's gonna be a nice image. Once again, I'm gonna do 5.6, just so we can just soften out the background a bit. I'm gonna try and keep that sky away from the image because as i said last time the light is a distraction to the eye and when you look at the image 
and it's got a light in it, you're going to go straight to the light. So you miss all this beauty. Anyway, let's take that image. I think it's to be really nice. God, I'm like a kid in a candy store today. Oh baby, baby, why are you acting this way? I just remember all our days up the interstate. I just took an image which I think is a typical English springtime scene. We've got this uh, tree here, we've got this tree here, and there's a tree that's fallen just over there. And in winter, that's my rest tree, that's where I have my cup of coffee. Um, but there's, there's this little branch of a birch that's fallen here. And I think that's just quite nice with the bluebell surrounding it. We've got a bit of light coming through now. So I'm going to quickly retake that shot because it's going to look nice for that. Just that soft bit of light and um, yeah I'll stick it out for you do you know the thing is for this time of year is when the Sun starts coming up early it reduces your time in the woodlands because the light starts to come in, it gets too high and it's just a too harsh a light and your images become very contrasty. But at the moment, the clouds got back in the way of the sun, so I'm going to carry on. We should carry on a good fight. Yes. I've just seen an image that I, that I want to take that's caught my eye. And you know, sometimes we talk about the story of the woodlands and there's always a story in the woodlands somewhere and what I like about this is there's a tree that's fallen over I'll turn you around and show you in a bit there's a tree that's fallen over so its lifespan has gone it's done yet surrounded it's surrounded by the fresh spring leaves the fresh green spring leaves and of course the bluebells and uh, I find it quite to me it's quite a striking image of the two so I'm going to take that but I'll show you around so you can see so that's pretty much what I've got in my camera you can see where that tree has fallen over we've got the nice fresh leaves of the spring trees there and then we've got the bluebells surrounding it underneath um, to me, yeah, as I said, it's, it's just a, a bit of a striking image of the two, of the past and the present. Come break my heart with truth. We can defy, don't you see how it's good? Do you know I quite fancy this shot. I like this tree here with the moss on it and I love the, the, the stumps here with the moss on it. And dare I say, surrounded by the beautiful bluebells. It's one of those nice little intimate shots. Again, that tells the story of the woodlands. And we can never forget that because as always, the old way makes way for the, for the new. So that's a beautiful day though, isn't it? There's not much of a breeze, slight breeze, not much. Anyway, I digress. Yes, let's do it. Let's get on with this shot. Love, 
I'm actually going to take an image that I took in autumn. We had those lovely colours and everything else. Um, but now we've got bluebells. So it's amazing how the seasons change the image. But what I like about this, this image is we've got, we've got the, the three trees together. There are trees in the background which are going to be in the shot as well, which is fine because it's I've got separation between the trees, so there's no confusion. We got the, uh, the the bluebells at the base here, uh, and I've also turned the camera onto portrait rather than landscape. So, on this one, I'm going to focus again third way into the image. I've gone on to uh, aperture 14. Um, I just tend to find that it helps me a lot with overall sharpness in the image when I go into uh, portrait mode. So I'm just going to take that, a two second exposure. I have included some sky on this one, quite rare for me to do that. Um, but on this occasion, why not? Why not? It works. It works on this occasion. Because it's not a bright light, it's not a massively bright light. There's still a bit of blue in the skies, so it's not too distracting. I'll put it on the screen now for you. Like the lights of fireplace, we were obsessed and we felt warmth in our chests. Your heart was full of dreams, it made you feel extreme. Give me a sign if you keep it in mind. But somebody told me that it's all. Do you know, it's a lovely time of year to be in the woodlands. It's nice to see the colour returning. We've got the the bright green leaves of spring and we've got the bluebells on the floor of the woods the air is fresh and the birds are singing everybody's happy but the sun is you might be able to see it the sun's getting a bit high now so the light's getting a bit harsh and it's just no good trying to take anything with this but i've enjoyed this morning um and you know what, I'm going to be back next week and I'll make no apologies for that, for taking another video of bluebells. Because we wait so long for them, don't we? And they're not here very long. And of course, this time of year, we don't really get a long time in the woodlands to photograph them. Because that sun just comes up so quickly. So look, thank you for watching. If you've got this far, thank you very much. I wish you a best weekend ever and have a fantastic day. Um, Please like, share and subscribe and all those wonderful things. And um, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.